So, girls, this advertising campaign is for a new type of aftershave, specifically targeting the poor demographic. It's called Stank. So I just want you girls to give me your best trashy when we get there, all right? You understand? What we're looking for here is total realism. Total realism. That's why I picked this. The worst suburb in Australia. The worst. Girls, when it comes to the wharf, we're going to want kind of a drunk, flat huckle. Good. Give me gay. Thanks for the text, man. Have a go with that, Frankie. Come on, girls, give it to me. Give me slut! Ah. Come on, babe. Put something into it. <laughs> <laughs> She was looking on me, man. Show us your titties! No, no way, bro. She was on me. Show Rich your titties! Juveniles, too much paperwork, fuck it. I'd like to taser those little assholes. Nothing but a bunch of fucking oxygen thieves! <laughs> Feldoni! Stop Feldoni! Stop there! It's time for me to take the dogs for a run. Oh, no, it up. Let me go, Frankie! Go fucking under it, mate. Fucking under it. Want to buy some rack, man, or what? No, man, just a lift. All right. I can't fucking sleep there, mate. Get that fucking thing out of the way. Hey, hey, where are you up to? Oh, we're not ambos, mate. Fine, just just bring Triple O, you pilly. Oh, shit. If you want to know why the coppers are after Frankie, well, it's simple. You're a motherfucking stooge, bro. You're a Because he's always doing stupid You're shit. You're a motherfucking stooge, bro. You know better than to fuck with the houses. Let the whole town know we're not on the down. Have a bit of a squeeze at what he did yesterday because he was bored. Always on the one because we're dodgy. Have you got a dollar, cousin? I am the cop hunter! What the fuck is he doing?
alcohol. That's why they say don't drink and drive. It affects accuracy. <laughs> Look on that, mate. Not even a scratch, mate. And I did it because I hate authority, mate. I hate it. Sunny Vale, mate. Sunny Vale for life, mate. Yeah. Now, he is a bit mad, but, I mean, he's got a few odd things on his personality. He was in that Vietnam War, and basically, whenever he's got a problem with someone or something, he just blows them up. Dad, don't do it. That copper shouldn't have defected me chopper, darling. So I'm going to blow up the cop shop, then he'll pull his head in, right? Thanks, William, yes? Boys, boys, I'll be out real soon, all right? Look after Chanel. I don't want a fucking barbecue. I don't need food, just ice. It's a memorial barbecue, dickhead, right? It's compulsory. Put it. Me and you, we're gonna go get the piss. <laughs> hey, junkie, you're in charge of getting the barbecue, all right? Oh, what, bruh? Don't fuck it up. Go! 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 I didn't know you fucking barbecues are so fucking heavy! You fucking with Act professional. <laughs> Every thief knows when an alarm gets triggered, the security company calls. So you just fucking ignore it. Hello? This is TRG Security. Am I speaking to the sports club manager? Oh, it's Putin. The other thing every thief knows is never give personal details if you're stupid enough to pick up the fucking phone. Like, like, what are you doing? Look, we just gotta get out of here. Security vans come fucking heaps faster than coppers do. Oi, Rabbit, where's fucking Rongo? Well, give me a couple more spins, I'm feeling lucky. Come on, man. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> fucking Tony Abbott's Illuminati, the Queen's Illuminati. Oh, Sandwich fucking Illuminati. Illuminati. Please don't fucking talk to me about the fuck that fuck is that, bruh. Oh, that's Illuminati country, the fucking Illuminati. Who are you up to? I'm just getting my skills up on the drain. What the fuck? Watch me fucking make those junkies go nuts. <laughs> They don't know what it is, mate, because you're fucking off chops. Ah! Take the slut! No! Take the slut! <laughs> Illuminati! Do that! Do that, you bitch! Illuminati's coming! Ah! <laughs> the Illuminati's out the front! <laughs> It looks like he's with the fucking Mexican Mafia down there. Fucking who is this guy? I thought he was a fucking accountant. You're talking too loud, bro. They'll hear us. Hey, you think they can fucking hear us from all the way down there? Excuse me. Excuse me, but do you know anything about driving? Because I don't think so. Look old bag. I'm sorry. I'm very busy. Go make a baklava. Yeah. Every time I come to Melbourne, you just carry on about this hook turn, mate. Go! Go, you old man! Get out of here, mate! You old man shouldn't be on the road, mate! You should not be driving! I don't know what you're talking about! Stop! 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 Stop!
Listen, do you know anything about ALF rules? No, what? I don't know. We're not sure, but Rocky reckons the umpire has given us the Lebanese f***ing hand signal. Did you see that Habib? He hates wogs. Get a f***ing loser on him. F***ing get a loser. Habib and Rocky, they're getting stuck into the AFL's referee, mate. Fail. What was wrong with that three point turn? Tell me. Fail. Oh, come on, man. Look, I mean, I don't mean to tell you your job, but you know, since when did these pedestrians get the right to the road? See that man? Like, look, there's no way it could do a burnout if it was not roadworthy. That's <laughs> Are you alright? Oh, I need my puffer. Where is it? It's in the car. <laughs> I walk fast. Hurry up, mate. Go oh, quick. <laughs> Bad knocking technique, that's a point off. Hey, it's just late, dickhead. What are you calling a dickhead? You look like a poof, mate. Can't defend self well. Can't defend self well from bats. I think I hit the dog. And I think the cat pretty much ran into me. Sorry about the flowers. I was, try I was swerving to try and miss the dog. I think, mate, I'll call you back. As I was saying, you have no respect for authority and therefore... Yeah, I'm coming back in a minute. The German. Go! Hey, are you the fugitive? Yes, I am. You've done it. I knew it was you, man. Guy Sebastian's in the court. Congratulations. We're at Hashfield Local Court and the fugitive has been found. And that means that this lucky ethnic wins $25,000. I just want to mark to evidence Exhibit A, Guy Sebastian's. Like from television and that. Nice car. I got it from like because of court. It's fully sick and that. Paulie, you're freezing up like a stooge. Quick, say something good. Um, you want to like see the subwoofers? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Mommy. So we go after him. We're on operation slow watch. Speeding only, remember? Yeah, I know, but we're here to protect and serve. Hey, what are you doing? Come on! No! Do you know how many forms we have to fill out for a foot pursuit these days? Come on! Heaps! We clocked you going 350 kilometres an hour in a 40k school zone. Um, you're experiencing technical difficulties, man. Read this with you. That's the court order that shows this car can't speed, mate. Small car. 
Midget car can't speed. Is there a problem here, mate? I'll get back in the car, Larry. Is that your partner? Do you mind? I'm just going to take a photo. <laughs> Blurry, just one more. Hold that, that's good. Nice angry face. <laughs> Look at that, see that? Good, huh? Thank you. And what's your problem, smart ass? Woo! Let's go, Larry. These little cars, I mean small cars, I mean they're not as fast as a big normal, uh, the standard car. It's definitely speeding, mate. The camera says so. He can't be speeding. That f***ing car is speed limited. F mate, you're a slow learner. What a, get off the, get off the car! Hey, you! What do you think you're doing? You hear it? Get out of it, mate, all right? Look, I can't afford a car alarm! I'll take his all on! Fat pizza pizzas, they're big and they're choosy. How many pizzas? Eight. There may be short delay. Hello, welcome to Pizza Shack. Can I help you at all? Yeah, give me all your pizzas. Everything you got. 30 small margaritas, 30 medium supremes, 30 large meat lovers, and 30 family El Scorchies. That'll be $600, thanks. $600, thanks. Hurry up, big guys! Hurry up! Hurry up! Come on! Hurry up! Come on, you idiot! Let's go, Jacob! Hurry up! Like we do we? Shut up and try Bob needs the pizza. That looks like a robbery. And that bike looks overloaded to me. Should we pull him over, mate? Was he speeding? No. Then you know how I feel about the situation, Larry. Cut, cut faster. Grandmaster. Hey, bro. You live in East, bro? No, mate. Um, I'm here to fix the oven. I don't think this is still under warranty. Junior, get the warranty. Mate, look at this. I really think we need to step in here, mate. I just got my pie, Larry. You pay for this. Fine! When I was driving to the shop today, this little policeman, he gave your mama a ticket for speedy from cool of police. Just hold the speed camera a little high, I mean a bit higher. At the moment, you're clocking the dashboard, all right? F higher! They've all committed a number of offences. All of you on the ground now. No, Larry, that's too much paperwork. Just give them a warning. No, it's all right, mate. Everything's under control. You just stay in the car. I've got it here. Now, all of you, I said get on the ground now. Now. It's just like the footy! <laughs> little man down! Little man down! Come here, you little toothpick! Get him, get him, go, 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 go! Put him down! They're absconding with Larry! There we go! Your oven's fixed! Bye bye! Can we use your oven? You gave Mum a speeding ticket. Caught the little cabin, Aussie! The Prime Minister today announced new laws to combat terrorism. The new law is called the Suspicious Ethnic Law. Suspicious ethnics can be detained for no reason. 
there will be a special hotline so upright citizens can dob in any suspicious ethnics. My God, that's bullshit! What are you talking about, suspicious ethnics laws? Jeez! Hey, hey, what? What? What's in all the bags? Man, what is wrong with fertiliser? Like, my boss, he started up a new vegetable garden, man. That's a lot of f***ing fertiliser for a garden, mate. We have a special on at the moment. Buy one bag of fertiliser, get 10 free. Gee, that's good value. Look, I mean, you'd have to be an idiot not to take that. A terrorist, he's making a bomb! No, it's for vegetables! Hey, Shazza, you reckon the new neighbours are a bit dodgy? Try to play in our building, you understand me? Dazza, I wish you'd f***ing give me some f***ing attention instead of f***ing staring at those ref f***ing f***ing every f***ing time, you f***ing 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 off your mole. No, f*** you, you c***. And like, if you've ever joined the army, and they tell you, like, eat these pills, there's no side effects. <laughs> Man, don't believe them, all right? Because, like, there is. Captain! Look! Look at that! <laughs> you reckon that elf could be a terrorist? You reckon that chick, what, should give me one? Hello, I'm Ray Smartens, and I'm here to let you know about the four points you'll need to look for when spotting a potential terrorist. Number one, they most surely will be of ethnic appearance. Hang on, all these guys match that description. They'll probably have an ethnic sounding name. Habib and Bobo? They may well be of Middle Eastern appearance. Far out, Habib fits three out of the four categories. And terrorists usually fund their activities through illegal or unusual businesses. Dave, I've got the latest phone, Julia. It does everything very cheap. Come on, man, you want one? I need the cash. Habib must be a terrorist. You want one or not? Ten bucks. Um, do either of them have like an infrared Bluetooth email accessing ability that I can take pictures with and surf the net with FPOS? Yeah, he's at the terror hotline. I just want to report a suspicious ethnic. His name's Habib. Terror alert! <laughs> What intelligence we got on this terrorist? His name's Habib. The name I get, he's got to be a terrorist. Where's a f***ing cop when you f***ing need one? These f***ing wog f can block the whole f***ing street off. Well, if little Dazza here f***ing accidentally sets his school on fire, every f***ing cop in f***ing Asheville wants to f***ing get involved. What's this thing you're talking about? It means from now on, you work for tips. What? The customers are out there, they're bogans and idiots, man. I'd be nice to the customers if I wanted a tip. Oh, come on, bro, please. Just tip me, will ya? I'll give you a tip. If you strip me out of your undies. What? And dance around my front garden. I swear, you better give me a good tip, bro. Hey, you want out there and have a look at this? Preacher guys, you don't strip off down to his undies and do a dance. <laughs> Darling, I can't believe he's doing this for a tip. Do the robot, like the robot guy on TV. That's it, that's it, that's the way it goes, yeah. Let's take some photos. I feel sorry for you, kid. You do know the food. Oh, would you look at this fucking little pervert? Oh, I don't need this shit. It's my birthday! So you like dancing around in your undies in front of the kids, do you? Yeah, you're really scaring the kids, hey? I swear to God, I was just trying to get paid. Shut up, you fucking sicko! This thing has ripped me off! Can we wrap it up now? I want to get deep your pizza before it gets cold. All right, I'm desperate! Come on, give me all your money now. Hand it over. Let's go! Hey, mighty. You know that's a toy pistol, don't you? No, it's not! Shut up!
You silly Anglo prick! We saw you stealing the stockings and the toy pistol! It's real! Give me all the money! The real money now! Not the toy money! Shoot me then! Come on, shoot me! Take your best shot! Bitch! Let's go! Come on! Who ever made an orange plastic gun? Who? Who? Tell us, huh? Come on! Would I hold it like this, like a real gun? If it wasn't a real gun, I'd kick real. your ass! Shoot me! Shoot me! Shoot me! And finally, he's giving me a good job. Are you serious? The man, you won't believe what it is. Man, it's a, it's a sex doll. Huh? I had to pick it up from the airport. It's very realistic looking, but you know, them idiots in customs, like they kept the box. So look, I've just put it up the front. It's just like driving around with me. It's like not like them cheap ones with the mouth open and the, like the popped eyes. It looks sort of like a real chip. I've actually put it in the front seat so I can use the transit lane. Danger. Shit. Danger. My GPS just went off. Yeah, Mario. Space three and a half here, mate. Hello? Yeah, just letting you know, mate. The uh, system shit itself. Is that why my GPS just died? Yeah, it's totally crashed, mate. Most people have been sent home for the day. Who am I supposed to talk to if I've got any dramas with this thing? Call the air. She's on the switch. She'll be able to help you get there. She's from Dubbo. <laughs> You think you're the first idiot to think of putting a doll in the front seat so you can drive in the transit lane. Oh, $80, man. It's just another shit job, man. Hey! Yeah, you fuck. Get off the fucking phone, you dangerous prick. How is this dangerous, man? Uh, hey, Louis, I'm just going to go because I'm putting in fuel. Could be dangerous. It's my cash. Uh. It's with the shit job doll, mate. What you wanna do, babe? I wanna hit it some more. I wanna hit it. You wanna hit it? I wanna hit it. I wanna hit it some more. What the shit doll? I really wanna hit it. I wanna hit it some more. I wanna hit it some more. I wanna hit it. I'm gonna go with the fuck. I know what's here. Have we got this fucking hero, will ya? Look at him beating on a fucking woman. Fucking waste of fucking time, you stupid shit job. Mmm, you fuck. Ah, fuck this. Hey! You like to beat up women, you low gunner! I listen, you better commit it to the readers of Miss Insane and suck the dick playing like Venom in it and in pain. Quit the land, I've been saying I'm sending a big chance. These fingers are gonna get it. It's a dummy, mate. You see, it's a dummy. We'll go forward and get lunch in the next town. It's probably the good one ahead. Hey buddy, do you have any food? Then just start an egg. Do you have a can of coke? Where you going? Don't you have it here? Ah. What the fuck happened there? Oh, God, God, every fucking mug! I blocked my fucking old cousins, old bit. Hey, are you the mechanic in this town? Yeah. Do you have a cop station here? Nah. I found the mechanic. He says to me he can't get new wheels for the van till tomorrow. So I'm stuck here overnight, mate. But, you know, when I ask this dude, gee, have you got, like, a courtesy car? You know what he give me? He's give me a postman bike. The postman bike as courtesy car. Look at this. And I've got to take the doll, like, with me on the back, and I've got to do the delivery to the ass end of, like, the bumpkin lands. Doll on the back. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Bye. Which way now? Wait a minute, them hills. You've got to have a crossing to get through hills, so the Gallup crossing's most probably in them hills. Ah. 
Hey Leanna, I'm not sure if I'm going the right way. Did you say to turn onto the road that says road closed? Yeah, it's a dirt road. Um, hello, Mario. Hey. Hey, you're cutting out. The end. Mario. The end. Mario. I can't hear, but look, I'm thinking that probably because the road's closed, it's probably like a good shortcut. Yeah, Mario, if you can hear me, I just stay on the road. Did you just say yes? Don't take the dirt yes, road. You? You'll end up in Belangelo State Forest. Take the closed road? No, I said don't take the dirt road. Well, I can't really hear, but I think you said yes, so I'm going to take the road closed. Do not take the dirt road. Can you hear me? Goodbye. Thank you. Now take me back. I want to go back to yesterday. Back to, back to yesterday. Why did you tell me to come road closed? No wonder it's closed. It's a bloody cliff. Calling a man. The battery now. Fuck, should have charged it. Okay, Mario, you wanted a good job, now you got one. Don't fuck it up. Hello, down the hill. Hello. Hello. Did you hear that? What? Did you hear something down there? No, where? Let's have a look. It's down there. Oh, shit! He's dragging me by the feet. Is she dead? Oh, the bastard! Oh, my God! Climbing the tree for. This is fucking weird. There's nothing. Just tree. Oh, ah, oh, oh. <laughs> oh you. How can anyone do that to a dead body? That is foul. Foul. Oh. Police? Yes, we have a visual on a dead body. I'm not giving up! I'm gonna get you to stupid gallop crossing, alright? Alright? Hello! 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 Don't worry, uh, she's not alive. I mean, she's not dead. I mean, because she's a doll. Do you know Kevin's off the fucking pension? Did you know that? We got no fucking money. I got my own problems, mate. Kevin, get a fucking job! Or you can find yourself somebody else to root, right? Hey, what are you looking at? You looking on me? Oh, you stupid junkie, you want that money, do you? Yeah. You want that money, do you? Hey, look, don't waste time, hurry up. This stupid junkie's staring at me, mate. Don't look at me, don't look at my money. Well, just knock him out for God's sake, like, let's go. Yeah, good idea, mate. 
Yeah, you took it. <laughs> <laughs> In breaking news, Mayor Christina Reese of Sunnyvale has announced the first local government green rebate. Any homeowner in my electorate who helps the environment will of course receive the federal government rebate. But as well, there will also be an additional payment from us here at Sunnyvale Council. I fucking hate this bitch, eh? She looks like a fucking slut. Shut up, will you? I'm trying to hear what they're saying. Mayor Reese has come under fire recently for not actually living in her own electorate. I keep many properties around the city and as you know I was a property developer before I began my career in politics. So that is all I have to say. Thank you very much. It's been reported she's actually living in a mansion. Hi, Miss Mayor. Look, you're really going to need some serious PR to get out of this. Uh... Actually, you know, you know what we're going to do. We are going to say that I have been greening up my place at Sunnyvale and the reason I couldn't stay there was because we were doing these renovations. Well, yeah, but uh, what do you want me to organise exactly? Insulation, that environmental stuff. But the thing is to make sure you get the cheapest tradesmen you can find because it is just a media stunt. I have no intention of ever living in Sunnyvale. Not in Bogan Jamboree. Now, you're probably wondering what's going on. Well, Habib knocked off some old asbestos-covered bats from the tip. <laughs> He wanted to rort the money the council was dishing out for insulation. I don't know about you, but hiring houses as tradesmen is like hiring a Kiwi to look after your sheep. Nothing but trouble. Okay. Uh, uh, champ, would you uh, put that down, thanks? Uh, excuse me, miss, there's uh, no smoking in here. Yeah, all right, or I'll just fucking finish it, won't I? I'm going to take it easy. Relax. Um, so, you're here to do all the insulation, yeah. replace all the lights with energy savers, and fix the toilet with one of those water saving flushes. I swear, I guarantee it. But look, listen, bro, look, I need like 50% cash up front, I swear to God. Okay. Like, like, give me the like, other 70% like, later. Hello? So, tell me, is it all organised? Yeah, look, um, it's just what you wanted. Uh, they're cheap, they're multiracial, and by the time the media gets here by four, I reckon it's going to make one great photo op. Well, that sounds great. Looks like a bib's being ripped off for a change. Before we do anything, I need to spend some time on Facebook to hook up with my ex. And can you take that picture down, man? Look at her. I swear, it's like an evil witch with that thumb up. This is bullshit, like, come on! Like, you, like, help me with the bats. Oh, now, hurry up, yalla. And you, like, islander, like, find a way to get into the roof. <sighs> what if I bring? <laughs> oh, oh, like, what's wrong? Like, somebody, like, drew, like, a kebab on my car and, like, fully stole the insulin bats. It's, like, it's bullshit. Man, I don't think that's a kebab, man. It's a kebab, you let, like, clean it off. Like, you're my worker, clean it, hurry up. I'm good at doing graffiti, man, not taking it off. Well, a bib would have been truly rooted if Frankie hadn't come up with the brilliant idea of stealing his uncle's fairy floss machine. See, man, all we do is, like, put him into the shape lock like, of a square. And you've got bats, mate. See, man? Tell me they don't look like them insulation, the bats and that. I swear, like, it's so smart. I can't believe it. Like, no one else thought of it. Is it just me? Can anyone else smell fairy floss? Anyway, um, look, as you will see today, obviously, I do live in my electorate. And I'm creating jobs by using local businesses to make my flat environmentally friendly. Mayor Reese was hoping the interview on television would show how environmentally friendly she was. You burned my clothes, you stupid slugs! Yeah, I did! Why? Can't you take a fucking joke, you fucking idiot? What the fuck are you looking at? But there was nothing friendly going on between Shazza and Abdul. And as soon as Habib realised there were cameras rolling, he pissed off Quicksmart. He's on three separate compo claims at the moment. He'd be fucked if Centrelink saw him. And Kev was so stoned, he didn't notice any of the commotion until he slipped and fell on the mare. <laughs> Who the fuck is everyone? Man, lucky that lesbian broke my fall. Hey! Hey, how's it going, Potty? I see uh, your rig's going well. Whatever, sure. Okay, I'll just leave you fellas to it. What's going on in there? Oh, mate, he's... What he does 
He uses his fucking water heater like a giant bong. Like he, I don't know, he boils it up inside the heater and then the smoke goes through like the tube into the hand washer and then he gets off his head. <laughs> Fuck, it's bright in here. Fuck, you're right. How many fucking fluorescent lights do you need if you don't have a fucking hydro lab? <laughs>